everybody. I'm Mr. Rhodes. And I'm Mrs. Rhodes. And together we are Rhodes, Rhodes on, on the, the Road. road. Review on uh, the minus 33, specifically merino wool um, shirts and undie roos. That's uh, underwear for all you English speaking folk. Or panties. Now, merino wool is different than your average run of the mill wool. Um, it is high performance. It's soft on the skin, it's warm, it's durable. Um, it comes from a specific type of sheep. Uh, minus 33 actually gets their merino wool from Australian sheep. Is that all there is to say about sheep? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. So merino wool has a high warmth to weight ratio, meaning that um, for the amount of weight it has, it holds in an incredible amount of warmth. So it doesn't take a big bulky thing to keep you warm. That's good for backpackers, uh, lightweight campers. You can wear this in all kinds of weather. In the warm weather, it will keep you cool. In the cold weather, it'll keep you warm. Wool is really great for that. Better than cotton, synthetics. I think I already said what I need to say. <laughs> you all right? Yes. They also are labeled lightweight and medium weight, going back to kind of the weight warmth ratio and when you're gonna wear it. The shirts that we have are a medium weight. So I'm wearing it now and it's really cold outside and it's doing its job. Yeah, but this would be equally good for a nice 70 degree day. Yeah. The underwear are lightweight, so you'd wear them more often. They're not going to be as warm. Then again, hopefully if it's cold outside, you're wearing more. Another benefit of merino wool is that it is a high wicking fabric. Should I say high? Another benefit of merino wool is its wicking abilities. That means that it takes the moisture and... I can't even, whatever. That means that the moisture, no, start okay, the, start from the beginning. Yeah. It just takes the sweat and it evaporates it. <laughs> Deal with it. That means that it takes your sweat, right? Mm -hmm. And disperses it and evaporates. I don't know a and better way to say it. Even if it's cold, so. Yeah. Especially if you're an active, which obviously you're gonna wear this being active. Hiking in the snow or hiking in the sun, you're gonna sweat. And when you sweat, water makes you cold. So you wanna get that off your skin. So even when wet, just like any wool, um, it keeps you warm when it's wet. I think it actually says, our merino wool wicks moisture away from the skin 30% faster than any synthetic. Which speaking of uh, the wicking abilities of these uh, merino wool products, when wearing the underwear, it prevents uh, a horrible hiking condition called butt chafing. Happens to the best of us. And the worst of us. Happens to everybody. Yeah. It's just it's moisture happening. and friction and... Uncomfortableness. Agitation, it's bad. These prevent that. Wicking away the moisture keeps everything like a nice powdered room. <laughs> Makes your butt feel like a feathered pillow. Recently, well last summer, went on a long hike in Yosemite and I wore the underwear and it was just smooth sailing the whole time. Didn't have any pain, agitation. Other members of my family who were not blessed with the, the wonderful merino it wool underwear, me. they didn't have a great time. But that leads into another segment. Merino wool is flame retardant, meaning that it doesn't easily catch fire. And this is a, a big concern with uh, butt chafers. It's not a well-known issue, this problem. Friction equals heat, heat equals fire. So remember, only you can prevent butt chafing fires. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what happened uh, when Yosemite was burning down last summer. Did it burn down? Well, part of it was burning down. So I've never caught myself on fire to see if, um, if it's true, the flame retardantness. But um, it is supposed to be a water resistant. And just today, I wore this today, by the way, I spilled coffee down myself, which usually soaks in and leaves stains. But it not only came off, I seriously just took a napkin and dabbed it and it was gone. So there's no wetness, no stain. So I will say it is very awesome 
when it comes to the water resistantness, if that's a word. Another awesome benefit is the UV protection, right? Mm -hmm. Especially beneficial in the underwear. When you're hiking, even in the winter time, I guess there's, you know, sun problems. But yeah. especially in the summer, when you're hiking, sometimes you forget sunblock. It's always nice to have UV protection, right? Always. Always nice. Yeah. Not sometimes. Always. Always. Unlike other wool products, merino wool is washable, which is very important when you're going to sweat in something all day. Most wool isn't. Um, it'll shrink. You can also dry this, tumble dry. Yeah. It's also fashionable. I'm wearing it right now with just a scarf. Um, it's really good in the winter because you can kind of layer over it. Yeah. Um, it's just a basic. It's you can get good. them in lots of different colors. So if you wanted something brighter or... Yeah, but if you want to go to an art show, you got your black long sleeve shirt, um, French art not show. Not to offend anyone, but French art show, anybody? You can buy... Uh, merino wool products from a lot of different uh, makers like Patagonia, REI. I'm sure North Face makes merino yeah. wool stuff. Buff Headwear makes a merino wool buff, if you know what those are. We'll do a review yeah. on those later. It's They're just, awesome. Yeah. It's just a good, I mean, it's a good material, and a lot of people are seeing the benefit of the material and using it in their products. We opted for minus 33 because it is 100% merino wool. Some of the other ones are blends, which they say have different benefits and negatives. It's it's just up to you to decide what's right for you. But you can buy minus 33 at uh, Amazon, which is where we got it from. And you can, most of them are Prime, so if you have Prime, Amazon Prime, that's always a benefit. Yeah, try to find the best deal for you and enjoy your merino wool. Uh, it'll treat you good for many years. It's very durable, very warm. Very cool, warm when wet. I don't know what else to say about it. It's wonderful material and it'll treat you right. And our video really only scratches, I think, the surface of how great it is. Oh yeah. Because if you go on their website, they have like performance and how it's great for that and comfortable, comfortability, comfortability. Comfort. Comfort. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you liked the video. Yeah, you can uh, like, subscribe, comment. We love to hear what you think about the product or if there's another brand of merino wool that you really enjoy. Um, tell us about it. We like to try new stuff. Mm -hmm. um, also check us out on Instagram, Twitter. We also have a blog and all those will be linked below as well. So thanks again. Bye.